And I, I think when I go back and look back to March 2020, I see how God said and started showing me just little areas that I wasn't asking him like I used to ask him. I wasn't really expecting him to move in those things. And really, my life started changing. I, I'm, a, I, I'm a pretty wild person, but I'm, I'm a very pragmatic in a lot of areas also. And that pragmatism can all of a sudden get you not seeing through God's faith eyes. And so a lot of us are going through a lens change. And that's important to understand that. I even noticed it on the 4th of July. Pam and I went because we were having some people over on at, for, at noon. Daniel and Amber and the kids were coming over and, you know, people are always in and out. And uh, so on Friday or on Sunday after church when we went to the grocery store, she said, uh, I'm surprised you hadn't asked me to make a blackberry cobbler. I don't remember a fourth in all of our years that you didn't request me to make that. Well, Pam is good at everything she does. So her blackberry cobbler is beyond. And yet, I said, nah, you know, I've gone through some things over the, you know, you know what I've gone through over the last year, and I, I probably not this year. I just don't want to be tempted to be quite honest with all that. Well, that's on Sunday, and then we had 4th of July on Monday. Well, you know, when you wake up, everything's changed, and you're hungry. You know how that goes. It was just a whim. I mean, and I woke up, and I had several things to do, and then about 11 o'clock, I said to her, you know, I really would like a blackberry cobbler. She said, we have people coming at 12. There's no way you are going to get a blackberry cobbler since I asked you did you want one and you didn't want one. I said, but that was yesterday. She said, well, that's the consequence of yesterday. And I said, okay, so, you know, the kids came, there were people came by, and I was sitting back in the backyard, and I said, Lord, why am I craving a blackberry cobbler? <laughs> we've had roast, we've had barbecue, I, none of that touched me. And I'm telling them, I said, that did not touch me. And when I got up this morning, that was the only thing I wanted. And then you saw how she acted. <laughs> and, you know, I, I felt something. And I said, I still, it is 3 o'clock, and I still want blackberry cobbler. I told the Lord that. See, I think we've gotten away from talking to the Lord about really what we need to talk to him about. You know, you can get so far trying to change a nation that you say, well, that ain't gonna matter. I, I'm gonna die if I don't get this blackberry cobbler. And I just said, I, I'm craving it. I don't know what to do. I, but I'm not going back to that bear and ask her to make it again. <laughs> so when I went back in, all of a sudden, it was about 3.30. The 
the doorbell rang. And this young pregnant lady that's in our ministry said, we're getting ready to have our barbecue. And before I could have that barbecue, the Lord told me I had to stop and make you two a blackberry cobbler. (laughs) Now, I'm saying this for a reason. I mean, one bite was all I needed. I I mean, really, honestly. You know how it is when you just go crazy over something. It was as it, I mean, Pam and I were in the living room when we opened that door and she brought that blackberry cobbler after we'd had that brawl that morning over blackberry cobbler. And we knew only God could send that to that door. Only God could tell that girl before she served her guest to make that blackberry cobbler. That's the type of faith we have got to get back to. We're, we've got this miracle teacher back here. But that is the type of faith we have to get back to. I saw it happen. Last night, I saw something happen. I was with a guy who I led to the Lord in the bowling alley, so you know he's not real deep yet in the Lord. And uh, he said, and something came up, and he said, let's lay our hands on that and ask God to do it. I said, well, great, yeah. I mean, this, that was amazing. I should have said it, but he said it. And, <laughs> and we did that, and immediately God changed that situation. Now, I'm telling you, God is doing something with us in a new way. Here's one more with me personally. I had invested in something and hadn't even thought about it, you know, because, you know, 50 years you invest in things. The other day, we got in a bind over something and I was with, again, two guys that are fairly new Christians. And I said, guys, we're going to have to stop. I have got to see the Lord bring in $18,000. Well, you know, we stopped. We were driving somewhere. We stopped. We prayed. We held hands. I'd, I'd never done that with those guys before. And we asked the Lord to do that. An investment I had made prior all of a sudden came within an hour. Now, that investment was made prior and all of a sudden it came, it was $18,321. God knew, and it wasn't for me either. He knew that need. 